Hello everybody and welcome back. From the title of this video, you probably already know exactly what happened, but here I'm just going to tell you guys the details. So yes, somebody did crash my car and it's very unfortunate because, man dude, I really love that car, not going to lie. Even though it's an EcoBoost, I still love that car to death. I'm just going to tell you the story real quick because I literally just wrote it down just so I won't forget any certain details important details actually. So basically on June 22nd, I was coming back from Monterey because you know, I always go over there. So I was heading back home and once I got to Selena's, I was coming up to a stoplight. I was going like around 50 to 55 miles per hour and I saw that the light turned yellow and I had to start stopping. I knew I wasn't gonna make it past the yellow light so I started stopping and I had to brake a little harder than usual or else I was gonna pass the crosswalk line. Since I had to brake a little bit harder, I stopped before the line, thankfully, and about two to three seconds later, I just felt a crash right behind me, like literally, boom, boom, right behind me. And at first, I tried processing it until I just realized like, oh shoot, I just got rear-ended. At the moment, I had to pull over to the side because I was already in the middle of the road when the crash happened. I got off the car to see the damages, it bended the back bumper and the trunk like about a foot into the car. The back of the car was engraved like one foot. So the other people got off the car and we exchanged informations and looked at the other car's damages. Literally almost nothing happened to their car because it was an SUV. So basically one of the metal pieces just fell off from their grill, but it wasn't really that much. So then I called my parents to come and pick me up and we went to make a police report and called our insurance to make a claim. And as soon as we made the claim and the report, I went to the hospital to actually get myself checked out just to make sure that everything was okay with my neck. As soon as the impact happened, yes, my neck kind of like started hurt, hurting. Just a tiny bit, not as much. I'm glad everything came out fine. Everything came out fine, everything came out great, perfect. So we ended up going home, but the car was also drivable, so I was happy about that. That was basically the crash. So a couple a couple of days go by and I get a call from the other person's insurance that they will take the fault for the crash and repair the car. So I was happy about that because I thought my car was gonna get fixed and it's gonna be like it never happened. So that's why I never told you guys or I never made it publicly. So I sent photos of the car to the insurance company and they were gonna give me, they were gonna give me an estimate of the repair cost. I'm not gonna reveal any numbers because that is, I like to keep that as classified. In order to repair it, if it costed more than what they were going to give me, uh, they will still pay for the rest. So I take the car to a body shop and inform the insurance company that I've dropped off the Mustang. And also they gave me a rental car. So a couple of weeks go by and I'm constantly checking on the car and they strip the whole entire back bumper and they send more photos to the insurance company. So basically the repair cost is going to be more than double what they estimated. And also they informed me that the chassis was bent from the back. They basically told me that the entire car was a total loss. So the insurance company gave me an estimate of the, of my Mustang before the damages. And they were going to give me a check to pay off what I owe. And what was left over, I was going to keep. Now, I don't have my Mustang anymore. I'm actually bummed out about it. But the good thing is I don't have to do payments anymore. So basically that's what happened to my Mustang. At this point... I delayed of making this video because I really thought that my Mustang was going to get fixed. But the good thing is I'm fine right now and I have a bunch of things that I'm going to be releasing. I'm probably going to release one last video of my Mustang. It was a great ride. I love the car to death and it is very unfortunate and sad. But in the good note, I don't have to pay for anything else. That's mostly it of what happened to my car. I don't think I'm leaving any important details out. But if I did, I'll probably make a second part to this video, but I doubt it. I'm pretty sure I just covered everything that I that I remember. So thank you guys for watching and goodbye.